What up, ladies and gentlemen? Jesse Warden here. We're in the Free Ridges Trail at George Washington National Forest. Now, my best clerk's imitation. I'm not even supposed to be here today. Originally, my kid was going to camp in Pennsylvania up at Woodward. It's like an alternative sports. They have parkour, cheerleading, skateboarding, something else. Gymnastics, right? Which isn't really alternative, but whatever. So I was gonna go to the National Forest. It's north, I forget the name of it. And it was a beautiful route next to the stream, but she had to come home early. So I'm back here doing a new one. This is actually part of the application. Part of the app, app wow, mountains, heat. <clears throat> part of the Appalachian Trail, also known as the AT. And what this does is it goes around three ridges up and down. And at the bottom, there's a shelter that a lot of the application trail hikers, two hikers, will stay at. But there's a good camping area, a river, things like that for water. So I'm gonna make it there for tonight. It's about, I think, four to five miles through you know heavy inclines and declines. So my hope is I can get there because it's 90 degrees right now. It's beautiful, sunny, not a cloud in the sky, maybe wisps of it. And it's fixing probably to rain around four to five o'clock. So if I can get there with a tarp set up, I'll be safe. Otherwise, I'm gonna get drenched. My gear will be fine, but we'll see. I was really looking forward to going to Pennsylvania, but it's a you know five-hour drive if you don't stop. Six hours if you stop for you know gas and drinks, go to the bathroom, things like that. So uh, it's also in the center of Amish country. So I definitely want to buy some wares from them, not firewood, like food stuff. Today we're doing about. I'd say six miles a day, uphill then downhill. Then tomorrow, do about four to five miles uphill because there's a lot of swimming holes and waterfalls that are beautiful. And it might rain tomorrow afternoon, but it's overcast. So it won't be as sunny today, but I mean, there's so much foliage. You know, I'm in the shade for the most part. So let's do this. So I did some quick math, and it appears that I'm averaging about a 30 minute mile, so 1.9, 2.2. And that means that by the time I get to camp, it'll be thunderstorming. <laughs> because I couldn't go to Pennsylvania, and Her Majesty and I have been struggling to, you know, be healthy during the pandemic, uh, I wanted to take her camping, and she, she wanted to go glamping. Which is fine, totally cool with that. But I really wanted her to see St. Mary's Waterfall. Ooh, campsite. This isn't too bad. Let's check this out. Okay, nice spot for your tent. Number one. Nice spot number two. And there doesn't appear to be any Widowmakers under that tree. Well, not too big anyway. And then a really big fire pit with some wood left over. That's uh, it's really nice of them. I wanted her to see St. Mary's Waterfall. The issue, I wanted her to see the first campsite. And you walk about a quarter of a mile and then it's down the right, maybe it's a, maybe it's a mile, I'm not really sure, but it was hard. <laughs> it was rough. And so we got to the front campsite, but I wanted to show her the stream. She's, she was, she's had enough. She's like, we're, we're done. So I carried her stuff, her bag, my bag, the, was it like maybe 40 yards? down the trail towards the stream. I just wanted to show her the campsite there. And it started raining as soon as we started walking. She was pissed. She was furious. But I got the tarp set up, got all the gear under it, including the tent, and then set the rest of it up while it was raining. It wasn't raining too heavy. It was really hot anyway, so it actually felt kind of good. And I had a cotton shirt that day, so it was like, you know, really cooling. We got her set up there and it was really nice. Um, she was sore. We slept horrible. Cause she wanted to sleep in a tent together. She's, you know, too afraid, which is fine. 
But even with the air mattress and the sleeping pad, um, we weren't cold or anything. It was only about 69 to 66 at most at night. And in the tent it was, you know, about 70, but um, totally uncomfortable. Both slept horrible. But in the morning it was beautiful. She got to see the stream, hear the birds, hear all the bugs at night. It was just really cool. So she didn't like all of it, but it was good. I'm glad she came. I felt like she got to, you know, get out of the house, right? Which is really hard, especially with this Delta variant, man. It was good to get out and just get some fresh air, get some sun, get some rain. <laughs> and, uh, you know, get some exercise, not, not on the Peloton, you know what I mean? That's what she does. I work out in the garage, but she does the Peloton. So it's just, it was nice. Sorry guys, no food. I have no food. But you look like food. If I had my wife's bow, you'd be food. <laughs> oh, you wouldn't want to kill Bambi, wouldn't you? No, of course not. It's a Disney movie, you kill her mom and eat her. Okay, this is super nice. All right, so there's the fire pit. It's massive. Dude, there's tons of places for tents here. There's a shelter, I'll go check that in a minute. Ooh, they even have a privy. It's all right, I'm good. Let's go check out the shelter. Really big fire pit. Wow. It's reasonably clean. I'm impressed. There's only a few spider webs. But, uh, I don't know. You think that guy's big? I think that guy's massive. You want to sleep with him? Look at the size of that guy. He's like four quarters. <laughs> oh, they left a tarp too. Oh, nice. Ugh. A picnic table. Man, living the high life. Look at that. Look at the size of that. You, the bear bag even has a has a pole. So you can put your stuff up with a little hook at the end. It is, that's just super helpful. Alright, let's go take a look at the camping grounds here. Backtracked a little bit. There's another campsite that was on my right when I came in. And it's another big fire pit. It's really cool. There's another fire pit over there. Looks like Tick Central. I'm wearing shorts, I'm not going there. So if you're curious, the loop, I'll show you my phone here. I came from the top right up here, did the loop inside to see the, you know, the shelter right over there. And now we're walking back that way. I just wanted to do a loop to see it, just to see what it's like, how many campsites. All right, let's take a look at this one. Yeah, this is pretty. Ooh, hoo, hoo. do you see that? Sand pit, luxury. One, two. Clearly, they've never heard of sand sharks. One thing I learned, about going up these mountains, hills. <laughs> I know I'm in Virginia, they're hills. They're not mountains, but whatever. Going up steep inclines is I'll usually go, especially at like a, a rock-like step, and then 
you know, catch my breath, wait for it to feel normal again, and then wait a little bit longer for that. And then I feel so much better. Sometimes I want to push through because I feel good about like reaching the top, you know what I mean? But if it's really long or I don't know the trail, then, you know, I'll go up and then pause, look around. It just helps, you know? It takes longer, but like, you don't kill yourself to get to a destination. And besides, it forces you to stop and look around because most of the time I'm looking kind of, you know, at the ground. But like, and it's hard to see through the trees, but there's a view. It's beautiful out there. Valley and mountains. And you just enjoy it, you know? And it's raining. There's a part of me that wants to take the rain gear off because <laughs> that rain feels so good right now. Uh, I mean, this went from 90 to like 82 and the rain's freezing. Uh, wow, that's good, man. That's good stuff. Woo. That wind is intense. Look good. Look at that. This is hot. I'm soaking wet and sweat. A little bit of rain underneath my rain jacket. It's not really raining that hard, believe it or not. It's just windy. There's like no firewood and the firewood they left is all rotten. It's punky. It's been on the ground for a while. So I'm going to scavenge the bigger sticks they left over. So the hammock is actually on two trees that are strong, but the tarp doesn't reach that far. So I put it on that and my sprawl, my mess, and my shirt is disgusting. So I hit it over there. So I'm gonna continue to make firewood. Good morning. Things didn't go so well last night. <laughs> so I got to camp and I was in a rush because we're in a pretty steep valley. And I got there at six o'clock. So it took me about six hours to go from about 8.6 miles and I wanted to get a fire going just because even if I wasn't hungry I just wanted you know the ambiance I felt like I deserved it you know what I mean but I couldn't find any fatwood and all the fire sticks I made with oak just or birch whatever didn't work at all it was really hard and it had lightly rained so everything was wet even 
with the fire sticks and shavings. So I went about half a mile, tried to find uh, some fatwood, and I found some. I got harassed by a horsefly the entire time, but I found some, and that actually worked for about a second, but then I didn't have enough tinder and tinling and kindling around. I didn't have anything. I was so excited about finding fatwood and making fire st feather sticks out of it. I just didn't have it, so that was a bust. Now my neighbors had a fire, and the adult thing to do would be to take my candle, go to their fire, and then use that as my starter, my warmer, my you know drying the kindling, but I was frustrated. I had lost uh, my lighter. I have a lighter that I wrap duct tape around for like repairs. <clears throat> that's not in my bag. My spare lighter, that's not in my bag. And the tinder, I usually bring some kind of tinder, right? You don't always have to find fatwood. That's not in my bag. So I deserve this lesson. Didn't sleep well, obviously. And my hammock actually wasn't set up right either. I was so focused on the fire. I tweaked it like three times before bed, but it was dark and I was tired. And there were spiders and centipedes everywhere. It was really difficult to knock them off and do it in the dark. I'm in uh, rough shape, but my attitude's good. I got blister on my right foot. I got wool socks on today. Maybe that'll fix things. I want to point out, although that waterfall and all these waterfalls and streams are beautiful, and especially the one way up there, this is the trail, dude. <laughs> like, beautiful boulders, but jeez. Like, not many trail markers. It's just literally rocks and boulders that you gotta step over. And pray to God you don't slip. You know what I mean? Ugh. Hope your knees are good. Mine aren't. Oh look, it's a trail marker. And there's one, two, three. Joy, gotta go up. Man, these guys are everywhere on everything.